today we are in front of Reptile Gardens in beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. And much to the chagrin of Mr. Motts, we were slightly disappointed. We came in, uh, we were going to get a behind the stage tour, um, you know, kind of like what the tourists don't get to see, that, you know, and hopefully he was going to feed something. I was going to wrestle a gator. Yeah. He's he's acting ballsy now. What you didn't know is he was almost in tears walking in. Allergies. Allergies. A lot of he's things. afraid of reptiles. I'm not. He's snakes. So you're okay with alligators? Yeah. But not spiders. No, not spiders. Okay. Yeah. What? In, so we're at Reptile Gardens. There's lots of snakes. He didn't even want to touch. Like there was a fake rattlesnake in there. And so anyways, the gentleman that was going to do this actually couldn't make it and he won't be in until Sunday and unfortunately we will be gone. However, what he doesn't know, Mott's doesn't know, is that we're going to try and arrange to come back for this because now that I know he's afraid of reptiles, I'm going to like purposely seek out snakes Now stuff. I know that. What do you mean I don't know? We can't come back. Part of the thing is we, we can't come back. So this isn't going to happen. So you think the only snakes in the United States, the only place that has snakes are here? Yeah. My name is Sean Gilmore. I'm 25 years old. I uh, have been wanting to be involved in the motel industry, hotel industry since I was in high school. I moved from Sioux Falls to Rapid City for it. First year, we're giving it a try and really enjoying it. Kind of separate ourselves from the, the large chains. We have 100% um, focused on making guests happy and getting um, having people talk about us. Like it's it's all word of mouth. I think is a huge part of it. And now it's the internet. Everyone talks on the internet about it. And so when someone's looking for a place to stay and they see our place for a significant amount cheaper, and then they see that. Well, you know, these guys are really great, the rooms were clean, it was a wonderful place to be at. Um, they did, the, you know, like little special things we do for people, like just if someone you know, has a baby and they got a crib, and you know, got a crib for somebody, and they, they, they just love that. And people talk about that, talk about it online. Several years ago, uh, this 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 street, uh, in particular, from basically down there, um, five six blocks up, was uh, the, hall, the the highest call for service area in, in the entire city. These guys went to a school uh, sponsored by Neighbor Works. Went to the school and they they came up with an idea between the two of them. They're like going, "Let's do a garden," and everybody started coming together. And when they started coming together, then you ended up with this garden. And this continues to be a lower call for service uh, area of our town when it used to be the highest. I, when I first started, there was tinfoil on the windows, so nobody, you didn't know if anybody was home or not, so there was no lights that come out. Mm -hmm. Curtains were closed. Mm -hmm. Now they're out all the time during the evenings, and you can drive through here. It could take you 15 minutes to drive one block just because everybody wants to stop and say hi and visit. Nice. And talk with all their fingers and not just one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, one of the guys who, who basically helps run this this neighborhood group, he's now worn out his lawnmower from loaning it to all of his neighbors <laughs> because they couldn't afford to get one or whatever. Um, had said was that one of the neighbors had either mowed everybody's yard or had loaned his mower out to all of the neighbors who didn't have a lawnmower to keep the neighborhood looking nice because they're all very like wanting it to be nice and the, in the process it had completely been run down and I thought it would be really nice if we could find a business or somebody to um, donate a brand new lawnmower to this guy because it, it, it was such a selfless act and I just think it'd be really cool we got the lawnmower we got the lawnmower 
I'm so excited. So we stopped in at the Ace and explained who we were doing to the, uh, the general manager at the Ace and explained what we were doing and he thought it was a great idea and they are, it's, it's a chain but it's locally owned and there's like a three person committee and everything. But he was the general manager and he said he thinks it's a great idea and he thanked us for bringing it to his attention. And I am so happy. So it looks like John, the neighborhood captain of the Lemon Avenue neighborhood, is gonna get a new He's gonna get a new lawnmower. And I think that's so cool. You can stop recording. This is the microphone that we have tonight. A history degree nowadays is basically the participation award of college degrees. All of my friends that are doctors and lawyers and physicians, they don't know what's going on in the world. I do, but they're all making a bunch of money. But you know the old saying, right? Those who don't know their history are doomed to repeat it. And those that do know their history are doomed to stand there saying, would you like some fries with that, sir? <laughs> exactly. All right, we're in Newell, South Dakota, population 640. We're in like this camping area, but there's nobody here. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. And what we're going to do here is sleep for a few hours. Hopefully not be disturbed. Even though this pesticide truck just went <laughs> spewing poison into the air. No, what did you say? I said roll out the windows, it's poison, and you said... It's pesticides. <laughs> I'm from New Jersey. Please. <laughs> it's no, no big deal. That's a trip. <laughs> okay, we're in Lemon, South Dakota, I believe. I think it's North Dakota. It could be North Dakota. We're close to the border. We're in Lemon, something Dakota. Lemon in the Dakotas. This is the petrified forest in the quaint little town of Lemon. Population 600, 700, something like that. Um, pretty neat little place. Right off of the roadside. And we just stopped in to take a look at this. And you can see it's all petrified rock. Petrified wood. Petrified wood. <laughs> hey. And what was it that scared it so bad? Yeah. All right. We're, uh, we're in North Dakota on our way to Bismarck getting a little bit tired so we saw a rest stop and, uh, and pulled in and there was a small trail going through a little wooded area so we decided to check it out and then we came upon this America, huh? Never knew this existed. What, America? No, well, this part. Oh. So, um, yeah, Jersey Shore is fun and everything, but nothing like this. So here we are in North Dakota. We decided to camp for the night, and we're in the middle of the most incredible lightning storm I've ever seen. If you hear all this, this is hail. Watch, be quiet and let him hear it. Unbelievable.
<laughs> now they turn the flashlight off. <laughs> okay, so you, okay, so there's two cops. They're being too loud. We're in Biz. Is this blinking that it's on? We're in Bismarck, North Dakota. In North Dakota. And we were too loud because we were outside laughing because that's what we do. And see those two officers? <laughs> okay, we don't need Bill many yet. <laughs> but you see these two officers? <laughs> they won't pick it up. They turn the flashlight off. <laughs> I don't want to see it. No, turn it off. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this is this great material. Oh my god. I have to go inside and get a business card. They're in the car. Yeah, but I think they're great. A meal is only as good as the sauce, so make sure you try Henry Hill's good fella gourmet sauces. Henry Hill was the former mobster whose story was immortalized in the Oscar award-winning movie Goodfellas. Henry Hill was obsessed with two things, being a gangster and being a cook. Goodfellas sauces are straight from Henry Hill's original recipes. Slow cooked and made from the freshest ingredients available, these recipes have authentic old world flavors combined with a good portion of genuine Sicilian tradition. One taste and you'll see why Henry Hill's Goodfellas gourmet sauces are becoming the most popular marinara sauces in the United States. So try Goodfellas marinara rosa or fra diablo or Sunday gravy, the same recipe as the gravy being made when the helicopters were flying over Henry Hill's house in the movie Goodfellas. Visit www.goodfellasfoods.com or call 308-539-0668 to place your order today. And hey, tell them Project Highway sent you. Kiss me and tell me I'm